Good evening. I'm John Ryan. Welcome to Viewpoint 360, where we go round and round until we get it right. Tonight, our front and center topic, deregulation. Why less is more. <laughs> With Romney's pick of Paul Ryan, the GOP is now poised to finally weaken our government policies across the board and finally lower taxes for our unfortunate rich. Yes, I said unfortunate. You know, I've surveyed my golf buddies at my exclusive country club, and although they always make a fist load of money, they were still worried about losing a fraction of a percent on their investment portfolios. Now, my survey data shows this has caused their handicaps to increase by a half a stroke. This data is alarming. Now, Bob Salvetti is putting around here somewhere, and will give a thought or two on the matter, none of which will be considered a stroke of genius. <laughs> We'll be right back. Ah, Bob, I'd like you to meet our new HR director. Well, it's nice to meet you. Gosh, I've got a lot of questions about benefits that I haven't even seen yet. You are heaven sent. Welcome aboard. I wouldn't jump the gun there, Bob. I need to talk to you after the show about moving to an hourly wage. Yes, you see, Annie and I are of the same philosophy that uh, we need to, well, uh, eliminate the minimum wage law. Bob. Oh. Yes. At Viewpoint 360, we will no longer be enforcing the minimum wage law. That's a federal standing law, though. Well, I like to think of it as deregulating the law. And we will be deregulating a lot of useless government workplace policies. Bob, you've heard of the Republic of Cambridge, uh, the Republic of Berkeley. Well, I declare this studio the Republic of Ryan. Do you have a light? You, you really shouldn't smoke in the building. Says who? Bob? Coming back in five, four, three. We are back. Bob, you seem genuinely shocked by my survey at my exclusive golf club. Yeah, John, I think your survey is an insult to people who lost their jobs in this bad economy. You know, a lot of people have lost a lot of their financial security, and they're living from paycheck to paycheck. Sounds to me like Bob is talking about himself. <laughs> I don't want you to worry, Bob. If things don't work out for you here at Fix News, and by the way, they won't, I can always use a summer caddy. <laughs> well, enough putting around. And now it's time for Wait, Wait. I'll tell you. You know, there's been a lot of speculation that Paul Ryan was chosen to be Mitt Romney's running mate because of a possible family connection to me. <laughs> well, that is not the truth. Yes, we are second cousins twice removed, but Mitt did not consult with me on this pick. However, Paul Ryan and I are closely related in our political beliefs, incestuously close. My think tanks were the first to endorse the Ryan plan. Why? With complicated issues like the budget deficit, where no one has a clue what to do, it is important to put out a Medicare deregulation plan, even a very bad one if need be, so you can at least be the first to market with something. When a company's products, or in this case, a political policy plans, are first to market, people will grab onto it. It's like falling off a cliff and grabbing onto a dangling rope, even if the rope is not attached to anything. You have that moment of relief and security. It may only be a brief moment as you and the rope careen off jagged rocks to your terrifying death, but at least the Ryan plan offers that serene, heavenly moment. Isn't that what life is all about in the end? A blissful moment or two? Well, Paul just gave you one before you go. Now, don't get greedy and ask for more happy moments. And now, you've been told. <laughs> <laughs> 